Yo, what's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing to you my first gameplay on LB The Show 22 Tech Test. Again, remember, this is just a technical test, so everything that's in the tech test doesn't mean it's gonna be in MLB The Show 22 in the game as it's a work in progress. So there's still about a month and a half left, so there's still some adjustments that can be made. So this is not the final product, remember that. Before we look at the squad we're gonna be using, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, turn those notifications on, leave a like on the video, and in the comment section below, let me know what your experience has been so far with the tech test. Lastly, make sure you give me a follow on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. All three links will be in the description below. So give me a follow on three platforms. I highly appreciate you would. And also make sure you go check out my shorts channel, pitching underscore rebel shorts. So make sure you go check that out. But without further ado, let's quit talking and look at this lineup. All right, so we're really just gonna use like a God Squad. We're gonna be using Tatis at short. We're gonna use Chipper Jones at third, Trout in uh, right field, Eddie Rosario in left field, Tomarte in right, and then Mike Chargo in the center. Polanco, second base, Jimmy Fox, and then Lou Gehrig last. I'm gonna play on Legend, cause you know that's what I love to play on. And we're gonna assess what the Legend difficulty has for us. We're just gonna quit talking and get into it and give our thoughts throughout the game. And that's ball four. All right, good at bat. Good at bad, at least we get the walk right there. I mean, that was 102 and we were completely early on. Like not as, his feet aren't as wide apart as they are in LB21. Take it off or whatnot. All right, there we go. A little by him. And strike three, okay. And cutter. Gets him chasing again. So we had three strikeouts in the inning. We go hit now, Cattell's coming up for us to a job. I think that's gone. Yeah, that is gone. Cattell is slowly running. So that is a no doubter. Wow, I didn't even think. Okay, but we hit it pretty damn well, so it's gone. Jimbo with a swing and a drive to left field. Okay, we got two runs in the inning. I mean, that's a good sign though, right? We absolutely crushed it and it was gone. Like way gone. And ball four. Okay, not a bad at bat. Back to the top of the order we go. We got Tatis coming up. Let's see if we can get a hit with Tatis. That was blown by me. Gets bigger. I believe a changeup does as well. We'll bring in Mo later on in this game to find out if the cutter also gets bigger as we get strike three right there. So, and strike three. Okay, two, three straight outs again. So we got two nothing lead into the top of the third inning. He's pausing and he quits. So we'll get into another game. There we go. Either way, we get strike three. There we go. All right, two up, two down. Let's start to this inning. Oh, that was out in the middle. Luckily, he did not hit that. That's strike three. Oh, he blew that by me. I saw it well. Oh, the changeup. I don't know what the heck I was doing there. I don't know. I don't know what it is right now, but we're not picking up pitches as best as we can. Oh, that's crushed. That should be gone though. Okay, off the bottom of the wall, but not sure why that wasn't why that wasn't gone, but that was a great swing right there. So we'll take that two out double. Oh, we just missed it. I mean, we're later set it good and we hit it way off, like PCI wise. So yeah, Cutter does not have anything with the par. That right there we can work with. Doesn't have no hitch. Okay, strike three. All right, it looks like people are having a lot of trouble hitting. All right, that slider confused the shit out of me. I'm definitely having a little bit of struggle bus action too. Oh my goodness, Jimmy Fox with the perfect, perfect oppo taco, baby. Let's go, man. Take that one nothing lead. Google Cloud Stagcast. Okay, that's a little neat feature right there. That's gonna be a double. Good swing. It's gonna be a little double. Oh wait. Okay, we're in there, we're in there. All right, we're gonna pitch it, like I said. That's a good swing. Oh, he got me. That wasn't a bad swing, though. He, a little bit on top of it, but we hit it well right at him, though. Well, Verlander's par for his slider is pretty damn big, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> so I can only imagine trying to throw a slider up in the zone, how big his par is gonna get. From what I'm seeing, I think Trey's swing is a little bit different. Like, the stance looks around the same, but the swing, the swing type looks a little bit different. And he bunts. Okay, all right, take the easy out at first. And that's, yeah, blown by me. Oh my God, I can't hit with Tatis. Okay, Blake Trinan, we get our first look at Blake Trinan. That's gonna be a base hit, okay. 
I was those first two pitches. I'm just looking straight sinker. I finally got the sinker, and we got a base hit on it. Gotta get under that though. Okay, that was that was sharp. No, pool holes. Okay, we got a little bit on top of that. We should have crushed that slider. It was over the middle, but we got on top of it. We got a base hit in the inning though. More break, more sharper break to him. They don't give you the feedback anymore of your opponent's results on his swings, it looks like. Looks like feedback on the swings are not a thing anymore. Oh my goodness, what are we doing? Jimbo Fox again? Jimbo Fox again, baby. boy, Jimbo. Jimbo's carrying the squad right now. His, I think, yeah, all three at bats that he's hit, I've hit a bomb with Jimbo. All three at bats that he's hit has been a bomb. That's crazy to me. He threw a fastball on the middle, and I missed it. I missed it. All right, we got another one. Jimbo Fox just carrying the squad, making a two nothing fastball up and away. But buy him, let's go. All right, one up, one down, let's go. And slider, and strike three. Okay, two up, two down, let's go, baby. And again, okay. But as you can see, though, it keeps being one on one. 100, 102. So at least they varied the outlier, it looks like. They definitely varied it. And Vlad Jr. with a swing and a drive to left center. No doubt about that one. I really like Vlad Jr.'s new um, stance, man. It's just a simple little two-step where it's not exaggerated that it gets to the screen. He like, instead of crouching like last year and all that, it's just a simple two-step and he stays tall. Hopefully Vlad Jr. has another good year. If we get another good Vlad Jr., oh man, he's gonna be in the lineup for sure. Damn it. I should have hit that out. All right, we're definitely seeing the ball a lot better though. All right, three nothing lead into what, top of the six we go. At the end of the day, it's gonna be a learning curve for anybody because the pitches are different. Like I said, breaks are a little bit sharper, stuff like that. So it's gonna be a learning curve for everybody. But as long as we can be faster with our learning curve, that's all that matters. Um. Okay, so that animation is still there where they just keep running instead of uh, quickly planting their feet. Yo, where did Jackie get that bat though? That bat was sick. All right, we got Eddie Rosario coming up, and as we can see, Eddie is on the struggle bus. He brought in Eric Gagne. Let's see how Gagne looks this year. Like, golly! I'm surprised I was able to get a swing off in time. Golly! That's gotta be gone, right? Oh yeah, that's gone, okay. That is absolutely gone. No doubt about that one. No way that's gone, right? Oh my goodness, that ball just carried. What is happening? We're not even on that. What is going on with these exit velos? They're kind of high. Yeah, you, you, what are you doing, buddy? What is he doing? That's three bombs this inning. Let's go. Let's bring in Fatty Boy. Let's bring in Titties Babe. All right, he brings in Devin Williams. Let's see if the screwball is still as potent as it was last year. No way that's not gone, right? Okay, that one was a bad one. That's a hundred. That's 125 power. And that's not gone. All right, we're gonna bring Corey Klub Dot. And strike three. Let's go. Corey Klub Dot comes in and just um, keeps doing what everybody else is doing, striking people out. And strike three. There it is. Two up, two down. Good start to this inning. And strike three. Okay. What are we doing? Friendly Quinn in a, in a tech test? No. And he's out of here. Okay, that's gonna be the ball game. We've played two games. This one, at least we got six innings worth of baseball. We, you know, we come up on top six to nothing. So my overall takes right now are that I feel like the four seamer, noticeable difference. Outlier, you're not throwing 102 every pitch. You still could throw 102, obviously, but you're throwing more hundreds and 101s as well as getting mixed in with that 102. Unlike the past two years, that's just been 102, 102, 102. Also, sliders, curveballs, sinkers, any off-speed pitch and, and sinkers, the higher you go up in the zone, the bigger your par gets. So it's, that means it's going to be harder. Essentially, it's going to be harder to dot that pitch, okay? Another thing I noticed is sliders and curveballs, changeups, not so much, but 
sliders and curveballs are definitely have a little bit of a different break to them. They definitely tunnel better with the fastball. That's better. It's just gonna be an adjustment period for those pitches. Four seamers are definitely like when it's 102, it's coming in at you, right? That 102 comes in at you, that 100, 101, you can feel it coming in at you. You gotta be ready for it. Definitely feels like the timing is a little bit tougher to get than in MLB The Show 21, in my opinion. Sinkers as well, they're coming in at you. It's definitely gonna be a learning curve for a lot of people. I mean, for everybody, right? Because obviously it's not gonna be the same. The pitches aren't really the same as MLB The Show 21. They got a little bit slight difference to them. I did not use the PCI anchor. I feel comfortable hitting the way I hit and I've been doing it for so long. Like, why am I gonna change something? So, you know what I'm saying? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on, leave a like on the video and in the comment section below, let me know what you're seeing for MLB The Show 22 and your experiences of playing as well as what you think is better and what you think is worse right now from MLB The Show 21 and what you would like to see adjusted before the final product comes out, all right? Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. All three links will be in the description below. So give me a follow on three platforms. I highly appreciate if you would. And also check out my shorts channel, Pitching underscore Rebel Shorts, and give it a subscribe. It's completely free, all right? But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.